Global Ecology Implementation, One Community Weekly Progress Update number 147. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for-profit and non-profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable. I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 147, January 17th, 2016 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering our team's progress and accomplishments with pictures and video. If you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, and we'll add you to our newsletter list, or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core Standards. This week, the core team, which includes the Pioneer members, plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, transferred the second 25% of the written content for the community lesson plan to the website, as you see here. This lesson plan is purposed to teach all subjects to all learning levels in any learning environment using the central theme of community. Behind the scenes, we wrote an additional 25% of the work lesson plan, bringing the behind the scenes written part of that lesson plan to approximately 50% complete. We also completed the second 25% of the mind map for the winter lesson plan, bringing that to 50% complete, as you see here. If you'd like to help with this education program, we are seeking people to finish these lesson plans. We've got them all outlined, and we're just looking for the creative minds who would like to contribute something amazing to the educational world through our open source and free shared education program for all ages and all educational levels. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, for our food self sufficiency transition plan page, naturopathic Dr. Matt Maturano, creator of the coherent model for comprehensive digestive health, completed a final spreadsheet for the food transition plan, which you can see here. We now have nutritional and caloric targets for all our major food categories. In this area of our open source project, we are seeking permaculturalists, an irrigation specialist, a surveyor, and a chef to join our team as either consultants to the project or pioneers who will be moving onto the property with us. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This last week, the core team put another 10 hours into the behind-the-scenes revisions for the Footers Foundation and Flooring page for the crowdfunding campaign we're developing. This week's focus was editing, rearranging sequential changes, and a new narrative for the updated version of the slider we'll be using to make building these safer and easier than other methods. You can see an example of this new work here, and we'd say we're about 61% complete with the total update of this section. Behind the scenes, we also add an additional 10% of edits and content to the Treehouse Village Pod 7 presentation began by the intern team over the summer. This included rewriting the text in a few sections, and you can see an example of this work here. The updates to the presentation are now approximately 85% finished, and the new presentation, which is separate and in addition to the web page, will be released on our website when the revision process is 100% complete. In this area of the project, we are seeking a master plumber and a master electrician. If you or someone you know would like to help with this component of our open source creation process. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, 
provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team continued the process of learning how to do our own renders for the Duplical City Center. These renders here are one of the city center rooms and the result of this learning process and experimentation with textures and lighting. Iris Sue, industrial designer, continued with these additional pipe couch designs for Duplical City Center Library. The drawings you see here are her sixth generation drawings, continuing development of the couch idea with an adjustable back and exploring different ways to support it. Here you see her seventh generation drawings, returning to the stationary back and exploring how to significantly simplify it all. Behind the scenes, Mike Hogan, automation systems developer and business systems consultant, developed the first couple design ideas for users to manually interface with the control systems through hardware built into the bed design. These designs are for a removable and replaceable box with a microcontroller that would allow for easy bedside control of all key system elements in the room. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true Earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This last week, the core team continued our work on the Highest Good Network with Andrew Herman, software engineer and core member of Futurist Playground. Here's a collage showing the mock-ups Andrew has created for what the application will look like and how the different functions and fields may be accessed and edited. Working with Oz Chersky, lawyer specializing in trademark and copyright law, we also filed trademarking paperwork for the Highest Good Network and our logo. We also added additional FAQs to, co to the copyrights and trademarks pages and this new resource section to the open source tutorial about patents. In this area of the project, we're seeking graphic designers, web designers, and technology specialists, videographers, and building a Highest Good legal team. If you or someone you know fits these descriptions and would like to join our Highest Good Society creation process. One community is building the foundation for global ecology implementation. Our idea is that we've, if we can create a self-replicating model that is sustainable and ecological and gives people a way of living that most people would consider to be better than the way that they're living right now, then the ideal is spread on its own. And so our idea is to make this easy enough, affordable enough, demonstrate as attractive enough so that people will get involved large scale globally and help this idea to become self-replicating. The way that we're doing this is through open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions that we're creating for all aspects of what we call highest good living. Our idea is that if global ecology implementation is gonna happen, then people need to want to do it. And we think that appealing to the foundational values of people, the things that, make, that people want most in their life, will help this idea to spread on its own. And so we're creating an evolution of sustainability that takes the physical foundations of sustainability and combines them with the emotional foundations of sustainability to create a way of living that we call living and creating for the highest good of all. The physical foundations are sustainable food, energy, and housing, and the emotional foundations that we've identified as most important are highest good education, highest good economics, which is for-profit, non-profit business creation, as well as true earth stewardship and fulfilled living practices. Putting all these things together to create that way of life that people right now want, desire, and are finding it challenging to create for themselves. We want to create that do-it-yourself instruction model and the complete living plan to teach people how to do that and spread that around the world. We call this living and creating for the highest good of all, as I said, and we're bringing together the people with the consciousness for the highest good of all that want to participate in this, that believe that it's a good idea, that believe that it's possible, and want to be a part of it. So if this, sounds, if this sounds interesting to you, if this sounds fun to you, if this sounds exciting to you, if it sounds like something you'd like to be a part of, a noble adventure, an interesting adventure, an interesting venture, we invite you to join us. Get involved in what it is that we're doing. We have lots of different ways to do that. The easiest way, of course, to help support one community is sharing our information on social media, and we have lots of different ways to do that as well. We are on LinkedIn, we are on Twitter, we are on Tumblr, we are on Reddit, we are on Facebook, we are on Twitter, we are on Sue, and about 15 other social media networks to make it as easy as possible for people to access the information that we're providing and for people to share the information that we're providing. The biggest thing to help us, of course, people ask, is, well, what's the number one thing? Donations really help us out, too. Our organization is an all-volunteer, unpaid organization, self-included, and so the cost of running one community currently exceeds the donations that we get. 
We are A, looking for large-scale funding to purchase the property so that we can start building and take our whole open source creation process to the next level so we can disclose the location that we've been looking at and working around for the last five years. But we also are really, really helped by small donations, the $5 donations, the $10 donations, $15 donations, $20, $50. Every once in a while we get a $100 donation. Those are really, really helpful in, the co in helping to maintain the cost of running a nonprofit global organization like ours. It makes a big difference. And so we are thankful. We are grateful for all those donations. We're grateful for all the shares on LinkedIn and Twitter and Facebook and on, through all the different social media avenues. We're grateful for all the emails that we get. You know, the idea of global eco ecology implementation is it's relatively new. The concept that it's even possible to address global problems is relatively new. And so we're taking the foundations that have already existed, the things that are already working, we're putting them together in a compre comprehensive model and building what we see as a bridge between pragmatism and idealism. A pragmatic approach to creating sustainable living that provides a way of living that most people will find to be better than the way they're living right now, leading to an ideal world that truly works for everybody. This is what one community is doing. So. Thanks everybody for following our progress. Thank you for watching our updates. Thank you for sharing our updates. Likes on these videos are really helpful. If you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content and everything that we talk about in each one of these updates, you can visit our written blog and our website. Also, uh, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we'll add you to our newsletter list. And uh, as I like to say every single week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thanks for following our progress.